In this video, I'm going to talk about different roles within Omnichannel Dynamics 365 customer service. Now, uh, as you see in the list over here, I have highlighted something in red. Now, anything which is in red is like, I'd say specific to Omnichannel, except for the basic user part. But uh, just for a time being, you just understand that any users you use omnichannel must have a basic user right so that's that's a fundamental you know so uh, the user should have that basic user right to log into the application okay now apart from that there are uh, other roles which is omnichannel administrator now this is specifically for performing administrative related tasks okay so this administrator can do anything on the omnichannel application then comes omnichannel agent so agent uh, performs various agent related tasks like they create personal quick replies they can request or receive the chat request they can receive the case request start working on the case or uh, update the case record and then uh, respond uh, to customer queries okay uh, only channel supervisors for performing supervisor related tasks now what does the supervisor do supervisor basically checks how the agent is performing uh, they can get involved in the consulting exercise they can get involved uh, or they can you know like uh, uh, either uh, get involved uh, within uh, the chat uh, application uh, which has been currently worked by the agent or they can you know like uh, try to uh, provide some consulting or guidance to the agent uh, when the chat is in progress they can participate in the team's warming exercise as well Omnichannel API access uh, related to API, Omnichannel CDS flush role. So again, this, this particular uh, roles, are, you won't use it much unless you are doing a high level integration, but then Omnichannel administrator, agent supervisor is the important role. Okay, so make sure that whenever you set up the, uh, the tenant for Omnichannel, make sure that you have a valid administrator, valid agent, and valid supervisor. Now, if you do not have those users defined, then quite possible the supervisor may not get the presence indicator uh, enabled, and then you may not be able to do some functionality okay, within Omnichannel. So make sure that you have uh, defined uh, all these roles for the desired users. Now, apart from that, there are other roles like productivity tools user productivity tools, administrator, okay, uh, customer service rep, app profile manager, administrator, app profile users. Now, all these things are uh, specific to one functions, okay, so this is related to productivity tools. Now, if the user wants to have uh, some sort of access or if they want to uh, configure some productivity tools, then administrator needs to have this particular role. Uh, to uh, work more extensively on the Dynamics 365 productivity role. However, administrator can do anything within the application, uh, but uh, make sure that if you want to uh, uh, allocate, say, specific user for this particular role, then you can make use of this particular uh, security role within the uh, application. Uh, customer service representative, this is coming from Dynamics 365 customer service. It is required to work uh, for the case entity. App profile manager is for creating a various app profiles for different users. So app profile manager administrator will uh, create that app profiles experience for uh, different users. So which I'm going to cover this in the upcoming videos. Okay. Now, uh, where to see the security role? Again, you need to go back to the Power Platform Admin Center and view all this administration or agent or API access related roles uh, with regards to Omnichannel. So let me walk you through the application first. Now here I'm in Power Platform Admin Center. Now here, as you see here, if I go into say my environment where the Dynamics 365 customer service is installed, uh, I can go into settings now. And then under users permissions, I will navigate to security roles. Okay, now here I will be able to see all the security roles with related to this particular uh, environment. Okay, but I'm specifically interested in Omni channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type Omni in the search box. So uh, as and when I type Omni, I see uh, Omni channel related specific rules. Okay, Omni channel rules are much bigger than this, but then this is like the basic fundamental. Now, if you are an administrator, then make sure that uh, your user is assigned to the security role. 
if you are an agent make sure that your agent is assigned to this particular security role and if you have a supervisor within your organization who is managing the agent make sure that supervisor is assigned to the security role and uh, there are other things you can do from here you can view the members you know so if you see only channel supervisor here and if i want to see the members of this particular security role i'll be able to see this uh, user list okay i can add people i can remove people you know i can do a whole bunch of things in this particular interface so this is uh, how you uh, basically view the uh, uh, security role permissions uh, uh, within the dynamics 365 customer service interface now what exactly the security role contains so i'm in one of the security roles which is only channel supervisor and if I see this information, like what role does a supervisor gets, you know? Now, as you see over here, let me minimize the screen a bit. Yeah. Okay. Now, as you see in the bottom, there are a set of functions like business management, core records, custom tables, customization, service, service management. Okay. So let's see the, uh, the service part. Okay. Over here. Uh, here you will see bookable resource characteristic rating model rating value and under say core records you will see activity queues and social profile now over here you can see that the omni channel supervisor has a uh, like a custom permission for activity and it, that person like that role has a read uh, uh, privileges okay uh, from an organizational perspective and right from a business unit perspective you know so so those all information can be viewed from here you know and uh, if required you know you can even edit that but again this is like a uh, system level role defined by, uh, so you cannot technically edit this so if you want to use this then you can maybe copy the security role and then you can make a an own version of uh, which suits your organization okay uh, but uh, make sure that you explore those rights over here so that you exactly know what's happening within this role what kind of records or tables it has access to and what kind of privileges it has uh, from a ownership perspective okay so that's it folks this is all about uh, the security rules within dynamics 365 customer service omni channel application make sure that you set this up correctly before you even start the journey of uh, onboarding different agents and supervisors uh, within your organization thanks for watching